So as you can see here, we've got our um, VFD. This is in our default configuration aside from the P0003. Um, it is currently set to one, which enables these two buttons. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's set to zero. Normally we set that to one, so that these two button connecting these two wires through a relay will trigger the forward function. We have it set to zero so that uh, it enables the run and stop buttons on the VFD keypad itself. So we're gonna hit run, which triggers goes from blinking to solid. And now as we increase, so we've, we're getting 10 volts off from our orange line. And of course that's being fed back into the, um, the two lines here. Now, this generator, the signal generator requires a 12 volt input. So we're not gonna be able to, even though it's gonna be set to 10 volts, we're not actually gonna reach that. And I'll show you how to adjust for that, compensate for that, if this is what your controller ends up doing. So we can change this up to five volts and the expectation is our 24,000 RPMs motor will go half that. So half the speed, five volts, zero to 10 volts, five volts being half zero to 24,000 RPMs on your on your motor. Therefore, we should be going roughly 12,000 RPMs, which is what you see here on the screen. You can hit this little double arrow button that changes it to Hertz. And then you can see from zero to 400 Hertz, um, we're roughly 200 Hertz. So now over here on our signal generator, if we bump that all the way up to 10 volts, we can see that the RPMs are increasing, but eventually it maxes out. So why is it maxing out? Well, this little this generator requires about two volts of power so our 10 put 10 volt input is not able, able to send out 10 volts on the output line so the way we can check that and this is something you could do on your cnc on your controller is you can check the voltage that's coming across the line by checking with a simple voltmeter in 10 volt settings so we've got basically 8.4 volts at our maximum setting. So when it's at our maximum setting, the controller sh thinks it should be going 24,000 RPMs, but it's only sending out an 8.4 signal volt uh, signal, which is what our VFD is reading. To compensate for that, we can hit stop, jump over to programming, go to our upper setting, which to control the upper range of our VFD, zero to 10 volts, you go to 2P2015, hit enter. Right now it's 10 volts. So we were seeing 8.4 volts as the maximum output. So let's adjust this down to 8.4 volts. Since we know that's what our controller, our, our controller, quote unquote controller, is able to output at the maximum speed. So if we hit save there, back out, you'll notice that now we've got 10 volts on the signal here, we've got 400 volts. So the VFD is reading that PWM line going, hey, I should be going the maximum speed. And if you measure it, we still get, uh, if I measure it correctly, there we go, 8.4 volts. So it is sending the maximum that it can across this line into the VFD and that's what the VFD is reading. So if we hit run, right now it's been blinking, so it's in stopped state, but it's still displaying what the voltage is coming across the black and red wires. So if we hit run, it basically ramps the um, VFD up to the 24,000, the maximum value for the input setting. Now again, you can control that based on this P2015, enter that, and that will show you the maximum voltage if you've read it off from your, off from your spindle motor or off from your CNC controller. There is another setting which some people find useful. If your controller, when it is set to zero, let's say it gives off a, you know, a 0.3 volt signal, which means it's gonna be running at a very low, low voltage, right? So we've got our signal here, Let's say it is sending out, looks like about roughly 2.95 volts when it should be running at zero RPMs. We can adjust for that by going to P2013. That's the lower range of the voltage of the PWM signal range. Hit enter. I've got it set at 0.25. So anything below 0.25 volts is ignored. But clearly I've set it at 0.3. So let's say if we measured it, your controller at zero RPMs is still outputting a 0.3 volt signal. 
we can adjust this setting here so it is at the minimum voltage that, that it should be seeing. So if we back out of that, you'll notice that now the signal, even though it's 0.3 volts, it's going to read it as zero. So basically we've adjusted that zero to 10 volts. We've adjusted it up to 0.3 through 8.4. So that's our basically our valid range for our voltage on our PWM. Specifically for this control, quote unquote controller, which is just a simple signal generator. If your controller, um, you use the voltmeter, read that voltage that's coming across the black and the red lines and adjust those settings as necessary. And oh, if you have any questions, support at PwnCNC.com and we are happy to help.